The Qatar Financial Center, QFC, is committed to ensuring and enhancing transparency by preventing the misuse of legal entities from money laundering or terrorist financing. In line with this commitment, the QFC Authority has implemented beneficial ownership rules by introducing General Rule 8A in the QFC Authority Rules, which must be adhered to by firms registered or those that wish to register with the QFC. Beneficial ownership is the determination of the natural persons who ultimately own or control the firm. There are different ways through which a beneficial owner is determined, one of which is ownership of 20% or more of the firm's shares or voting rights. For example, a firm may have natural persons or corporate entities as its shareholders. Generally, in the case of natural persons directly holding 20% or more of shareholdings, these natural persons are the ultimate beneficial owners of the firm. Where the shareholder is a corporate entity holding 20% or more of shareholding of the firm, it must identify and provide details of the natural persons who are ultimate beneficial owners of such shareholder. Ultimate beneficial owners are referred to as UBOs. Let's take an example of ABC LLC, a firm which is fully owned by another corporate entity, PQR LLC. PQR LLC, in turn, is owned 25% by Mr. John Smith, a natural person, and 75% by a corporate entity by the name XYZ LLC. XYZ LLC is equally owned by two natural persons, Mr. David Simpson and Miss Lisa Johnson. As the UBO rules in QFC requires all natural persons holding 20% or more of the shares in ABC LLC to be identified as the beneficial owners of ABC LLC, Mr. John Smith, Mr. David Simpson, and Ms. Lisa Johnson will be considered the UBOs of the firm. Thus, the ownership chain needs to be identified up until we are able to identify the natural persons who are the UBOs of the firm. 1. Firms must identify and verify the identities of their UBOs. 2. Firms must maintain updated and accurate a. Register of basic information, which contains the firm's basic information, such as the firm's name, legal status, registered address, etc. b. Register of ultimate beneficial owners, which contains the information of the firm's ultimate beneficial owners, such as their name, nationality, residential address, date of birth, etc. and c. Register of nominees, which contains the nominee particulars in respect of firm's nominee shareholders or nominee directors and their nominators. 3. At the time of making application for registration or incorporation in the QFC, the firms must provide to the QFC basic information and beneficial owner information relating to their proposed ultimate beneficial owners and, if relevant, nominee particulars. 4. Post-incorporation, firms must provide beneficial owner information with controller notices and change notifications as required. And 5. The firms are also required to ensure that they provide details of any change in their beneficial owners and the related beneficial owner information and nominee particulars within 30 days of any change in information earlier provided to the QFC. Certain categories of firms are exempted from disclosing their UBO information. These are 1. Firms regulated by financial regulators acceptable to the QFC. 2. Firms whose shares are traded on regulated markets acceptable to the QFC. 3. Firms ultimately owned by the government or government agency of the state of Qatar or any other jurisdiction that the QFC determines from time to time. And 4. Firms established under a law of the state of Qatar to perform governmental functions. Firms should complete and submit UBO forms along with required supporting documents through QFCA's e-service portal. For more information on beneficial ownership, visit our website on www.qfc.qa. General Rule 8A can be accessed at the QFC's legislation website. QFC. We mean business.